guys. Yeah. So we are spilling the AT and we're going to be spilling the tea about what it's like to be an ADT student. ADT is basically architecture design technology course. Oh. Mm. Okay, so this video and this channel will be about two students. So AT stands for architecture technologist, which we're both hoping to be after we graduate. And it's just like a neater way of saying it in the description. Our aim is to document our adventure and have give you an insight into the journey from a first year student into industry. We are currently in second year, but we'll be reflecting on a first year's experience. Ooh. T. The bonus would be our videos encouraging someone to do it. And fun fact, we're not legally allowed to call ourselves architects because architect is a, is a term protected by the government and we could get fined by calling ourselves an architect because we don't have the qualification. What's the difference between an architect and an architectural technician? Technologist. So who are architects and who are architectural technologists? Architects study five years at university, the courses are five years, and they look more in depth into the design and types of architecture. While as a technologist, we study three years and we look mostly at the details, at the technical side. So we look at constructions of walls, floors and such. Also, we take care of building regulations thermal bridging, so all the important bits that make the house warm, um, waterproof, waterproof, Air. all the important bits we are trained for, although architects know a lot about it as well. So from our course, you're more likely to be able to go into different areas, different job types, because we're trained to cover so much. We study from building regs to designing. We do learn a lot of stuff, a lot of different stuff from the regulations to filling out reports, to drawing, to using softwares, mm. to people skills, to everything really. Our tutor says um, it's more about learning a little about a lot. So we have to know and not knowing exactly like no, knowing yeah. the building regulations off by heart but knowing where to look for them knowing the information yeah absolutely and something we both took we had to do work experience one of our modules is that people still learn even whilst yeah. they're in the industry yeah and it's really cool to like observe that you don't have to know everything after your three years of uni you know you're allowed to still ask questions and when i was on my we were in two different places and when i was at my place there were people who've been in the industry for 15 years plus and they still went to their people freshly employed, freshly of uni to ask questions about the software they're using. So that's really cool to observe that there's not as much pressure on you to know everything. Like you, you're still human, you can still make mistakes and they're really accepting of that. So I thought we think that that's really cool. Join us. <laughs> Who are we? You know why we created this channel, what it's going to be about, and what we do, but you don't know who we are. This is Nika, she's 20 and she's from Poland. This is Florence, she's 21 and she's from Bristol. And that's, that's the, the tea. tea. Nailed it. So I chose to join the course because I've always loved art and design, it's something that's always been passionate to me and ever since I was little I've always loved creating my own space, whether that be dens or tree houses um, and I thought it would be really cool to be able to design my own house um, when I'm older Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then joining the course just made me fall in love with the technical side, seeing how things go together and the materials yeah. um, and I think something that's both like in both our hearts um, is the sustainable side of it. I think we both really enjoy learning about that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sustainability is so important right now as well. It's just like, you kind of have to as well. If you don't enjoy it, then too bad. Of course. No. I chose the course because I always wanted to create beautiful places where memories can be made. Yeah, I like seeing the process of drawing it on paper, on like iPads, just rough sketches of the lines and hatchings and everything and then just putting it in rubber. Yeah, yeah figuring it out and being like oh that's ready you can put it in find the materials and put it in a software rabbit we use mm -hmm. 
and just seeing it like neat and beautiful you could just put it on a sheet send it off and be like this can be constructed right now i think it's the most yeah. satisfying bit of all of it and florence you a designer. Designer. yeah you're you're something you'll like see through the videos is that nico is definitely more technical minded you like yeah. see it on like your ipad or your computer whereas i love to draw I used to like, I do like hundreds of drawings and I just, that's something I really yeah, get into. Yeah, she does. <laughs> so that's kind of like one of the differences between us. Yeah, but I think it's a good difference because we can see how it works. And like when I see her drawing all of that, it's just crazy because she draws and draws and it all looks so pretty. <laughs> and I'm just like, I can't do that. Our tutors always say sketch a lot, yeah. use your sketchbook. But then you can draw it on your iPad and then it like instantly looks really like realistic and amazing. Yeah. It's just, it's nice because like you can bounce off each other. So like you show me one way to do it where I've been stuck seeing it like physically on my drawings and then I see how you do it like virtually and it's like, ah, it gives you like more inspiration. Yeah. And it's not an easy course really. Well, we say that. It and is an easy of, course. It's kind of how much you want to put into it. Yeah. Within the first two years anyway. So the way our course works is it's yeah. three years and your final year is the year that counts. Um, you still have to pass first and second year, but then it's kind of up to you how much you really like want to... So for both of us, we really want to learn the course, so you kind of put everything into first and second year, but you also don't yeah. want to kind of burn out either. So it's just finding that right balance, which is something we'll talk about, I think, during yeah. the programme. Like, it was all right. <laughs> it wasn't too we bad. <laughs> there are people who put up work, do all of it, and it's like, great. But they don't have much of a social life that there are other people who don't really do anything until the last minute and have like the best social lives ever mm -hmm. and then there are people like us found the balance we found the balance at least we think we did we hope but please don't rip us <laughs> oh we should say please do rip us mm -hmm. so thank you for watching that was the first video of spilling 80. we hope to see you again and Hopefully you'll enjoy following us on our journey. Pa! Pa! So, Who are you? <laughs>